It is truly an honor to welcome you to today's ceremony, marking the arrival of the Global Hawk aircraft here at Anderson Air Force Base. This aircraft, along with our other intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platforms, will improve our ability to support a number of regional missions to include humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, anti-piracy, anti-terrorism, and also to demonstrate, as we do every day in the Middle East, that our capability to integrate this into combat operations when required uh, is absolute paramount to our ability to have information dominance. It gives me great pleasure today to be able to uh, make a presentation of this one-fifth scale Global Hawk that you see to my left. This represents all the hard work by both the contractor and the industry team went into making this happen. The Global Hawk can do so much. Uh, it can do everything from monitor the bad guys to, to help with disaster relief and even uh, go up and get early looks at hurricanes. So if you consider the wide range of capabilities and applications it has, there's really uh, very little limits to what it can do. Here in the Pacific, it's going to enable us to provide intelligence, uh, capacity to our senior decision makers and our military leaders for day-to-day -day operations and then be able to integrate it uh, in the family of system of systems with other platforms and exercises and training not only for our United States military but the militaries of our friends partners and allies in the region. Global Hawks are now deployed not only in the CENTCOM region but just most recently besides the vehicle here that's with us here at Guam, it's also now deployed at Sigonella Naval Air Station in actually Italy. So, uh, you know, global really does mean global for Global Hawk. The Global Hawk is already certified to fly in international airspace. So depending on what the taskings are from Pacific Command or from Pacific Air Forces, uh, will depend on what the mission set is that we fly. And if you look at the map, and if you look at the Pacific, it is the perfect place to bed down a platform with this capacity that enables us to be able to fly missions north, south, east, and west in an equidistant environment that meets our mission requirements. Mm -hmm. 